New Mexico is one of the youngest states in the nation, number 47, admitted into the United States in 1912, and it was able to keep very strong ties to its origins all the way back to ancestral Pueblo people. And about 40 miles west of Santa Fe, in Frijoles Canyon, the ancient cliff dwellings of ancestral Pueblo people is preserved. Hiking is the best way to explore Bandelier National Monument and there's a lot of hiking trails but the main loop uh, trail that is behind visitor center is the one that you're here really for. It's about 1.2 miles and 250 feet elevation and it's epic. You pass through excavated archaeological sites. These are actual homes of ancestral Pueblo people and you can climb up to look inside. Now to imagine people living here, cooking, eating, sleeping, having babies, making babies. Life was not very comfortable back then, but they did have an epic view. Oh man, this is tiny! This is all volcanic tooth, fairly easy to work with, but the weather here is rough. Winds, thunderstorms, cold winters, hot summers, so people moved out to be closer to Rio Grande in mid-1500s. This area is a sacred place for the community. They believe that the spirits of their ancestors are still roaming around the canyon. So Alfred Bandelier was a Swiss-born scientist who grew up in Illinois and he had a passion to explore uh, in ancient sites. He played a giant role to preserve this area and he was an adventurer and he in the end died in Spain but they brought his ashes here and spread um, around the canyon so I thought it was kind of neat. There are hundreds of petroglyphs here too. No one knows the exact meaning, but still really cool. Another short hike here leads to Alcove House, where about 25 ancestral Pueblo people lived. To get here, you need to climb 140 feet pretty much straight up. 140 feet vertical ascent. I'm ready. Not sure if it was a safer place to live or a status issue, but whoever lived here did not have fear of heights, like yours truly. Halfway through, panic started creeping in. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start panicking. But I kept going. Don't go down. By the time I got all the way to the top, I developed a full-blown panic attack, and getting back down was no fun. If not for that, it would be a truly great experience. Visiting Bandelier National Monument was actually amazing. I obviously need to learn to respect my limits. Also, I cannot appreciate what I have if I don't put things in perspective. Many things happened in the last 400 years. Our life is different now but knowing and experiencing where we came from and how we evolved is truly priceless.